everyone in the last video looking at Chandra's crispus i said i will also look at the biochemistry of the plant so this is some of the information that is available as it pertains to Chandra's and specifically these were taken from the advanced treaties in herbology by dr edward shooks chemical constituents Mucilage 55 to 90%, organic minerals 14%, carbon, oxygen, hydrogen, nitrogen, sulfur, chlorine, bromine, fluorine, iodine, phosphorus, sodium, potassium, calcium, silica, and magnesium are some of the elements that are found in Chandras. Under properties and uses, it states that Chandras is heavily laden with sulfates, all of them in soluble form. Its calcium sulfate does wonderful work in the organism through its power to clean out any accumulation of heteroplasm or abnormal growths in the interstices of normal tissue. It causes the infiltrated parts to discharge their contents readily so that they may not lay dormant and slowly decay. This is the main cause of cancer which feeds on decaying organic matter. Epithelial cells cannot remain healthy without calcium sulfate in sufficient quantity for their need. It further noted that its potassium sulfate is an oxygen carrier with a powerful affinity for the skin and tends to keep the skin supplied with material for its healthy functioning. Its sodium sulfate is truly a dropsical remedy because it tends to eliminate water produced by the oxidation of organic matter, which lodges in the intercellular fluids. Its phosphate of calcium, potassium, sodium, and magnesium feed the bones, brain, liver, and flesh respectively. Its chloride of potassium dissolves fibrin and so relieves all catarrh, while its chloride of sodium regulates the necessary amount of water in the system, which we know is the great ionizer and producer of vitochemical changes in the fluids of the body. Finally, its magnesium phosphate supplies material for the nourishment of the muscle. Its iodides and fluorides require more elaboration. Chandra supplies just such minute quantities in the form of sodium and potassium iodides. For some inscrutable reason, this mere trace of iodide works wonders on the granular system, often changing the whole chemistry from disease to health. As it pertains to calcium fluoride, it states, when we think that a simple marine plant like Chandras contains this mighty compound, even though in minute quantities, we are compelled to almost stand in awe of it. And we wonder where the 99, 9, 10% of the brains of millions of medicals could have been through all through the years and down to this present time to have overlooked or ignored this important fact. A remarkable demulcent nutrient and dietetic providing the organism with what are loosely called vitamins in the form of chlorides, iodides, bromides, phosphates, and sulfates of sodium, potassium, calcium, and magnesium, all of them positive organic salts, absolutely necessary to the healthy metabolism of the human body.